The Lord will bless his people with peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. In this great feast of St. Benedict, for all the Benedictines, this day of July the 11th is a very big day. King Totila, in the year 542, the barbarian king of the Ostrogoths, was in Italy causing, causing great havoc, sacking Rome and all kinds of peoples, inflicting wars. And one day he heard so much about the great holy abbot Benedict. So he sent a message to the holy abbot of Monte Cassino that he wanted to come for a visit. And the abbot granted him uh, this visit. So once he got word, he said, I wonder if really he is a prophet. He had heard so much about him, and he, he was even told that this holy abbot even reads souls and reads hearts, the minds and hearts of men, and is able to do great wonders and miracles. And so he decided to send in his place uh, his bodyguard, Rigo, to take his place to test, to see if he really is a prophet. <laughs> and so he, Rigo puts all the, the regalia on and he feels quite comfortable with all of this. Being one moment a bodyguard, now he's the great king. And so all the soldiers are treating him with such respect and such kindness and such pomp. And there he is in his glory until he walked down the driveway of the, the great abbot of Monte Cassino. And as Rigo came, he, he came close to the monks right next to the door and he screamed out, where is the monk Benedict? As he pranced royally up the drive. And the abbot smiled quietly and said, son, Take off those robes. They are not thine. Did thou think thou wert going to fool me? Totila the king is still a mile off. <laughs> so there in his humiliation, he had to take off all of the regalia. This story reveals the secret to your charism, the Benedict's charism, this spirit of peace. The Pax Benedicti. We need to be all who we are. We shouldn't put on airs. And the monastic life is the simplest way of expressing this simplicity of heart. Let us not feign to be something else. If we're apples, we are to be apples. If we're bananas, we're to be bananas. That's why everything's so bananas right now, because everybody is choosing to be other what they are. And it's causing great havoc in the souls and the minds and the hearts of people. And so this is the secret to the Benedictine way of life. Simplicity. Utter simplicity. Honesty. Humility. St. Benedict, pray for us that we may ever achieve this, this inner peace in ourselves. Not because everything is going well, but because I am well. I'm able to admit of what I am, a sinner. I am a daughter or a son of Christ. I am what I am through God's grace and through His mercy. Our Lord will translate this in Matthew chapter 5, verse 37. It says, let your speech be, yeah, yeah, no, no. And that which is over and above these is of the evil. We have to just admit the things that we know are evident. And this will give us long-lasting peace, even though at the first moment they might be embarrassment. The senior sister will come along and, 
and she would say, did you, did you wipe down that wall before you painted it? Uh, oh, <laughs> was I supposed to wipe it down first? And then the senior sister will roll her eyes uh, as if she's trying to say, haven't you come out of the Stone Age yet? <laughs> but blessed are you, sister, when you remain at peace. You should answer to the sister, You are right, sister, I erred. Forgive me. That's simple. Even though you had no clue you had to wipe down the walls, you didn't catch that in the translation. But there's no sense in fighting it, no sense in being stirred up, no sense of getting angry. Don't let that disturb you. Let peace take root in your soul. The worst thing to do is to, is to say things like, oh, I didn't hear you, or oh, the other sister last time gave me another option, etc. Better just admit the mistake and humbly for the sake of Christ and let that Benedictine peace dwell in us. So this doesn't mean that we become doormats, but it simply means that we connect with our nothingness united to Christ. We ask St. Benedict to grant our communities peace, grant to us a lasting peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. Amen.